Nobody knows it's bigger than this. That's it, don't we? Hello, everybody. Welcome. Alan Robson with you with Kenny D. Hey. The man behind the camera is Hollywood McShane. We're here in another place that's got just amazing history. We've done a few grizzly trails in, re in recent weeks, so we've decided to come to a place that we've never been because this week I was told a ghost story by a man called Kevin. But before we mention Kevin, we also have to mention Lydia. She's watching now. What pub? Um, what's a pub called? Oh, it was the... The hilltop or the hilltop something? What's the hilltop? Of course, it's yeah. bank top. Bank top. The bank, the bank top. top. Bank top. The bank top, of course. And I will mention the bank top a bit later on because I know somebody who used to live there who was murdered down here in 1768. Dear me. Amazing, but he lived at the bank top. Now, this guy sends me a direct message and he says, My wife and two children and I saw a ghost this week and it was in Dean Park in Bedlington which is where we are and I gave clues as to where we were last week and one of them was the coolest James James Dean Dean Park right. and the other that. question was super dog I got that well what's the most super dog in the northeast terrier Bedlington terrier yeah uh, although they're originally from Rothbury. Right. Strange but true. Anyway, I'll tell you that story later as well. But Kevin's story was something that happened literally right here. The kids were running around, him and his wife, just having a nice casual stroll. Lovely warm day earlier this week. Walking the dog, getting some air for the two little ankle biters running about. And he saw a man and a dog at the top of the trail. Man and a dog. And I said, was it a Bedlington Terrier? Because he was yeah. from Bedlington. And he said, I don't know. I couldn't make it out. It was just the silhouette of a man with a dog running around him. So I got hold of the, with it being a dog that was loose, mm -hmm. they got hold of the bairns, just to be on the safe side, and they started walking towards them. They got about 15 yards up here, approximately, I'm guessing, about here. And the man and the dog were just on the curve of the bend that you can see in the distance. Yeah. Just on the curve of the bend. And he was just about to say, oh, you should have that dog on a lead. And I, I presume in parks you let them loose anyway, yeah. I, I would suppose. Come, come but he was going to say, you should get, I've got children here, you know, there's, mm. there's kids in the park. And they disappeared. They just... In front of them. Right in front of them. What he said was, they were walking purposefully towards us, and then from the bottom to the top, they just disappeared. <clears throat> now, we had another one that we were going to do that you guys had requested. But I made an emergency stop and a handbrake turn. If things are happening here, yeah. who was he? What's the thing about the dog? Mm. I'm going to tell you uh, that story now because it's brilliant. It's a, a story of a man called Toby Mann who lived at the bank top. Right. So this is all actually fitting yeah. mir miraculously. Now, this guy used to live in Rothbury and he had five Bedlington Terriers. Right. And because he was from Rothbury, they're known up there as Rothbury lambs because right. they look so like a lamb. And if you've never seen a Bedlington Terrier, they've got like a, like a, rounded, a rounded head and a, yeah. and a hard head underneath the, um, yeah. underneath yeah. the lamb's wool. And it's like, it's, it's like yeah, lamb's wool. Yeah. And, yeah. The Bedlington Terrier was designed to hunt rabbits, boar, hares, and sometimes, you, if ever you saw a Bedlington Terrier and it was all scratched up, it was because it had taken on a badger. Right. And the badgers with their claws, they're like bears. They also were known as otter hounds back in the day. But Rothbury's the first place that anybody ever wrote down the word about, about the, we didn't say Bedlington Terrier, Rothbury, Rothbury lamb. lamb. 
and their dogs known as a Rothbury lamb. So anyway, he came to the bank top. He lived in a hovel roughly where the pub is, you know, which is amazing. And problem was, this is like racism back then. Because right. we think racism is a relatively new thing. Everybody's always had somebody to hate. There's never been a shortage in, because we're human beings and we're, we're evil, wicked and beastly. Now, this guy was a gypsy and he came from Rothbury with his dogs barking all day and barking all night. And ever, every time there was a, anything like a robbery or a horse gets stolen, it's because ever since that gypsy came to town, it was him, not like towns don't have thieves at the best of times. So they ended up burning down his house on the bank top and killing three of his dogs in the process, burnt alive. Now, he came down here. Now, you've got to remember, there wasn't a country park. This was just a wilderness of woods. And it's a river with an amazing history, which you'll find out when we go kind of that way. We're going this way first. Um, so, this Toby man came to live down here and he lived along beside a bent tree next to the river. Now, we've got to find the bent tree. If it's still here, it could have been chopped down. I have no clue. But he came down with his last two remaining dogs and he lived next to the bent tree, wherever the bent wherever tree the is. We, we have to kind of seek it out for a very particular reason. He lived there for seven years, just village. And I'll tell you where the name comes from a little bit later as well. The people who lived in the tiny settlement that was here were scared to let their kids come anywhere near the river because, ooh. Yeah. And they made a, a song up at the time, you know, folklore's full of sonnets and rhymes and what have you. And it's, Divin gan, divin gan, doon to the river blithe lee. For the, oh, he's, got, he's got a funky name. Oh, that, that's it. The Scallywag Gypsy. The Scallywag Gypsy is down the, near the bent tree. So you've got to get the right, right? Near the bent tree. And then he says, follow the river till you come to the bog and you'll see the Gypsy hanging right next to his dog. Because the story is, they came down seven times mob-handed with pitchforks and lumps of wood to try and find this Toby man. Didn't see him, caught one of his dogs, just hammered it to death. He and the other dog survived, and every time you heard a mob coming down looking through the undergrowth, he just hid, hid on a hill. And you can imagine, if you look up here, you know, I'd love to think his spirit's up there. No. Oh, hang on. Did you hear that? Uh, behind you. Just behind us. That was a man's voice. Did you hear it, Tony? Not sure. I heard something flap up there. Oh, was it a flap noise? Like up there, though. No, Might it have was been down... something different next to no, you. No, it was down there. Oh, that's interesting. So anyway, the seventh time that he came, that they came in looking for him, rather, they caught him fast asleep in his bed with his dog, whose name was Yap. Yap the dog, lying next to him on a, like blankets and on leaves. They got hold of him and they hanged him from the bent tree. And his ghost's said to be here and he's been seen dozens and dozens of times over the year. Not so much in recent years, which is why when I got that direct message to say, I've just seen a man and a dog in Dean Park. I thought, whoa, that's exactly the story. So we're here, and we're looking for him. We're gonna seek out the bent tree. There's two other great ghost stories from in here. I don't care what ghost we see. Let's see if we can capture anything at all. Definitely hide away there, isn't it, love? I've been staring into Tony's camera, so. That's oh yeah, 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 yeah. It, Absolutely. That's been built, hasn't it, to be? Yeah, like some people have, have pulled that out. You just gotta be super careful around here as well because the nettles oh, are head height. Yeah. And you really don't wanna get a nettle rash on you. Oh, you got one on your arm. 
Yeah, I know we're we're all we've already had our first wound of the night. There's a path going down. Let's do it. it. Let's do it. Let's go down. Or do you want to investigate it, Kenny? I can, yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that one's for you. I'll take the next one. Actually, there's another one going the opposite way. I'll go down. You go straight on. Yeah, I'm, I'm heading. And it's down these kind of trails where just people don't go. And you can hear stuff moving around down here. It's just we haven't done a proper ghost hunt in a while and I'm, I'm just hungry for us to get anything, anything we can. Everywhere we go tonight, I'm going to try a different tool. I've got a spirit box with me. I've got um, a few apps that we can, we can use. You've got to be careful with your hands, Tony, because heavy, heavy with a holly here. The River Blythe is at the bottom down here. Just got to watch the, your hands for nettles. I'm always surprised when there's a river and there's no obvious way to get beside it. There's a little bit near the bridge and the bridge has an amazing history all of its own as well. I don't know whether I've just run out of road here, Tony. Not sure this is a trail. <laughs> yeah, the trail just seems to, to end and all the nettles just try and stab you. That's no good. I think Kenny's got further than we have. Just keep your eyes peeled at home because you, there is stuff in here. We've had enough people over the years say that they've seen stuff here. 1768, the story of Toby Mann. Yet for over 150 years, the ghost sightings in this area, figures disappearing. People seeing fast moving dark shapes in the trees. And obviously we're looking out for the area where he used to live. Just you don't know whether, what's the chances that his place was built on this trail. This is just a path that's been put in. Just keep your eyes open. The ghost was actually seen on this track, this very track. If you see anything in the distance, screenshot it. Let us know. Always makes you wonder. You know, when things have been trampled down, it's usually for a reason. And it's, it's in places like, do you see where that tree is, Tony? There's a, if I was gonna put a hideaway together, you'd go somewhere off the trail, do you see like that? Yeah. And do you see how there's no weeds around it? Yeah, it's pretty clear. Yeah. And anybody get loads it? of little bits like that. Little yeah. hidden away areas. These trees as well, quite hidden. Yeah. Perfect branches to hide in. You can hear water as well. Well the river's just at the bottom. No, that way. Really? Must be a water, like a little Oh it's like a stream stream thing. Yeah. Yeah, you can see. I'm not yeah, sure what I can see because I've been staring at your light too too long. Just trying to get my eyes back. Yeah. I can definitely hear water. I, I can think. hear it too. Yeah, yeah, it's running down. Presumably under the under the road then and down into the river. But people will come here and they'll not have any idea of the history because we've just coming from an iron and steel works. It's not there anymore. But you can see some of the stone in the river if you if you take a look down then we'll be going down by the river because that bridge has got a, a story or two to tell as well. Oh hang on, hello. Don't know whether it's just me, but I'm seeing a bit of movement down there.
I'm going to try something while we're here. I'll stick my one as well. Right. Just everywhere we go, because we've had trails where we're heading to places that have got great stories, but not necessarily active spirit. Well, he, you see, this is the kind of place, Tony. Look at this. If you're going to... Is that the bent tree? Could it be? I mean, anything could be the mm. bent tree. That's the problem. Let's get the amp out. Can I get up there? I think I... Oh. I think I possibly can. This looks... It almost looks like the built steps. Do you see them? Mm. Like pieces of wood here. Hang on, I'll get up first, if I can. Oh, I don't know. Um, nobody's need. You might not get up here, Tony. In fact, I might not get up here. <laughs> <laughs> up. Oh, yeah. Oh, that could be it, Tony. The tree. Do you see it? Oh, yeah. Looks like a hanging tree. That could be the bent tree. And there's another one there that's just absolutely perfect to sit on. You know, it's a, almost like it's been designed for somebody, for the chair in their living room. Oh, this is interesting. Right. Gonna try the spirit box first. <sighs> Got lots of toys to play with today. Let's try this one. Toby! Hello. You put your torch down to shine in the lens. Sorry? Have you just put your torch down a bit just because it's pointing Sorry, in the, it's, No, it's, I get it. It's glaring the, the screen, yeah. That's better. Let's try this. Spirit box. Right. Toby. We're looking for Toby. Is Toby here? Is this your tree? Tell us if this is your tree. Toby. Shit. Shit. That's that what, what it sounded like to me. Does that mean you're angry because you've been found out? Toby, come on, talk to us. Come on, Toby, if this is your place. Did you die here? Is that the truth? Oh, look, there's something hanging from it. What's that? Yeah. Does that look like a dog lead? It's some kind of rope or lead or something. Wow. What's the chances? This, this, this does seem, it does seem right though, doesn't it? It's got a feel to it. <laughs> Toby, if, if that's you, talk to us. The amps are on full. Come on, Toby. Is there anybody else there? Talk to us. Oh, 
nettles already. I'm not going to hate with these. Get up the river. Get up the river. I'll bank on the other side as well. Get across that river, get up there. Then we're going to get found, are you? You can see right up there, at the river. Get this one. Oh, there's some ducks, swans, whatever they are, ducks aren't they? And then he slipped. There we are, look. See them? Loads of them. Oh, Ooh, look at them. Something scared them. Something jumping out of the water there. That was weird. That was weird. Did you see that? Something jumped out the water there. And they look, quickly got out the way, panicked. But it's not even that deep that water there. What would that be? I hope I caught it on camera, whatever it was, something just jumped out the water. Just there. Weird. Is there anyone here? I think we found the tree, Kenny. Oh, brilliant. I don't know what that was, something jumped out the water, right? What? There, there was like ducks there. Little right. ducks with all its little ducks, right? All of a sudden, I just seen this like splash, something jumped, and it literally come up out the water. As it did, the old skedaddle across the water. I got on here, but I don't know what it was. Could have been a pike trying to That's eat That's what one. I think it might have been a fish, some kind of fish just trying to get out and get at them. But there's also a, a piece of wood down there, like a piece of furniture with a V cut out, as if it's like a trap or something. I don't know what that is. No. It's like a piece of wood buried into the ground with a V cut in it. That's weird. I thought that. No. I think I jumped out of the water, I don't know what it was. But there's noises everywhere. You see this though, Kenny? Go on. How do you get up there? Just there. It's a big step. You've just got to put your hand on the wood piece and then you're there. On there? Yeah, yeah. Just pull it. Ah, right there right. you go. I'm there. 
That's the bent tree, isn't it? Isn't it? It looks, looks like it. That. Look at the face on it. That looks like a face on it there. You see, there's like a dog lead hanging from it. Yeah. Toby! Where's Toby? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hear that? He's here. Did they hang you, Toby? No. 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 I thought they did. That's I heard a Alan story. As well. Alan. I heard someone say Alan. Yeah, Alan. We're getting near. Oh, hang on. Over there, Kenny, look. You see in movement over yonder. Should be look. Through there. Yeah? Yeah. Blackness again. Mine, well, I got that down there as well on this You've camera. got your camera on, so that might pick it up. Where my torch is, there's like yeah. a tree bent to the, off to the right. Yeah, this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Through there. Yeah. Just that, seen an orb as well. There's all sorts here. Uh, it, Toby. Am I imagining it? Or does that say 666 six, six on that tree? What are you seeing? There, Wait. look. What? Is that a number six there? And then there and there? Or am I just imagining that? 666. Six, six. What? Am I imagining that? It's 666. Six, six. It is, isn't it? Upside down? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm looking they look like it. three eyes. They do. But look, that's a six. Can you make that out, Tony? Yeah. That is 666, six, six, isn't it? I'm not just... It's 666. Six, six. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Why would that be on there like that? That's odd. That is, look, 666. Six, six. Definitely. Upside down. And they do it upside down, don't they? Yeah. The weird thing about this, it, oh, it switched off. And it came back on. That one to talk. Wants to talk, then. It's off. I said, look, that's 666. That's weird. It's off, says start. <laughs> I'll have to put the amp back in again. Ooh, good thing. Weird. <laughs> it did say weird. Just, just, you're off again. You're done. Now, the thing that makes this weirdest is because the, the story didn't end with them left hanging here. Right. Now you've got to remember, hanged and they hanged the dog. Oh, man. Off the bent tree. I've got a cheat to call people from Arley Pool. Jeepers. But what they said was that they were not going to allow anybody to bury him because he was just a gypsy. This yeah. is the racism of the time. Yeah. Now, there are good and bad people from every strata of society. We know that. Yeah. But what they decided, the good Christian people, decided to do with Toby Mann and Yap, his dog, was to leave them hanging so that nature could feast on them. Uh, now, apparently some of the people there took what was commonplace at the time, which was their trophies by cutting off a toe or a penis or a nose or an ear. Yeah. I've got the gypsy's ear. You can, you know. God. But they left him hanging. And then one day when they came back, the dog was still there, but all of his skeletal remains, because about five or six months in, everything's eaten him away. Yeah. Uh, the skeletal remains were gone. Now, it is thought that a Christian felt bad about him and maybe came and cut him down. But the rope was still tied. So you'd thought if you were going to cut a body down, you just cut the rope and let it fall. Yeah, yeah, but the rope was still tied, it was still in a noose. So that got people of the time, because we're talking now 1768 to, to 69, they were saying, don't go down by the River Blythe because the dead spirit of the man is... So would, whether it was a ghost or whether it was a, a walking corpse, like a zombie or something. But if you look in here... You could, you could couldn't you? You could really imagine that. Like. Can we get further up there, Kenny? I think we can. You have a look, because you've got the camera. I'll get up here. This. Just this is reeking of, of stuff. I'm feeling it here. Ow. All kinds of little... It was along there that I saw something, Kenny. Little hideaways and everything along there. Loads of them. In all directions. Oh, what? Look 
at that. Six, six, six on a tree. You can't make it up. <laughs> yeah. oh, there's something along there. How do I get oh. along there? Are you, Kenny? Yeah. Can you hear voices? Yeah. There. If there's anybody here, just talk to us. Talk to us. That also, that sounds like an animal gun. <laughs> Careful, Kenny. Oh, hang on. Wow. There? I heard a bird there. Isn't it weird though, the last time, because Kenny and I had just a brief walk along here to find the statue, and when we were coming along here, we heard all sorts. Loads of noise. And do you notice how quiet it is now? It is. Right, there. what I'm going to do that? is... What's that? What was that? What happened? Right. Some... It might have been that. Jesus Careful. Christ! <laughs> no, seriously, something touched us there. Something touched you? Where? On the back of my leg. If I come down, maybe it will touch Honestly, me. Honestly, just there. There's loads of water here. What's yeah, there's a, there's a... Yeah. Jesus Christ! He's down. Honestly, I'm not kidding you. There's something here. There is something here. Kenny's down again. That is ridiculous. If there's anything here, touch me, please. Honestly, there's Let something there. Let me have there. some of that. Now, you I see that's fall. water I didn't running fall down the there. hill? It's running to the river, the water underneath this. You can see it's soaking wet. Look, I didn't fall there. It was like... Is that you, Tony? That's yeah. Tony. Honestly and truly, there was like something on the back of my leg. And then... Like a dog. Oh, don't, man. There was something on the back of my leg there. And then when I got there, I like hit it and fell over it. But I didn't like fall... Because of this. You fell because you was, there was something in front yeah. of you, like a trip over. But there was also a noise. Did you hear the noise? I heard the noise. But what, what, that's like a pig. Was that a noise of a pig? It could have been a growl. It, but it, no, it, was, it wasn't. It was like a... I thought it was more like a... Was that what you got? That kind of thing? I thought it was a pig. Honestly. I don't know what noise a bed and terrier makes, but I'm fairly sure it's pretty, pretty much not that. But that was like a... But if you fell over something and it was small... but I didn't fall over anything. No, tri that no, was trip, like over, no trip over like something in front of you to trip over? Yeah. Because there's nothing there to fall There's over. nothing there. Not that's up to knee high, Look anyway. Look at this, man. Covered Kenny? in mud. Kenny? Why would it, you know... Your turn. <laughs> your turn. <laughs> My turn. That was weird. Now, the question is... Ghost dog? And hey... That noise was up Disregard here. Disregard 95%, but just just for a second, what if? Jesus. Because if this was the tree, and if this this is where the dog died. Careful, Kenny. I don't want you to go down again, man. But that noise was up here. I know it was. If there's anything there, talk to us. Make yourself known. Come on. This is wild. Kenny, the fact that you were touched first, yeah, and then you went down, that's that's yeah. ma that's major. Can you hear these noises? What I didn't catch anything. Did, You're nearer I, I than I am. I think to be quite honest. You getting? Can you hear voices this way, Tony? There? Oh, you must have heard that. I did. What is it? I have no idea. Sounds like, could it be a dog moving around? It could be anything. There's definitely something moving. Just when you come down, remember everything here is soaking, so get onto the dry bit as soon as you can. Kenny. Right. I will, but there's something there. Kenny's on the trail. You know, we come to find 
anything that we can here. And you find a place that could be it. I think we've had confirmation that this is the place. We've had something talking to me on the Necromancer and other gadgets. 666 carved in a tree, which is ridiculous. Ridiculous. 666. Oh my God. A dog lead or something similar hanging from the tree. Did you hear that? Like something, piece of wood being hit off another piece of wood. Just here. Oh, this is edgier than I expected it to be. If there's anyone here, we're, we're here with respect. We're sorry what happened to you. <laughs> That was ridiculous. Careful, Kenny. Oh, I'm careful. That, that was just ridiculous. Kenny's been knocked, he's fallen over something, but there was nothing in front of him to fall over. Oh, he's, he's, he's right in the back trail now. At least you're in the dry bit now, Kenny. Yeah. But that noise was up here. I've just heard. In the direction you're going, uh -huh. somebody as if, like somebody just hit two pieces of wood together. Just up here? Yeah. Where my torch is, if you can see where my torch is. Yeah. Just around there. there. Oh, yeah. We'll move on, Tony. Be careful on your yeah. way down. I might actually need help getting down because my knee's not, I cannot jump. Is, this? is the thing, I may have to come down backwards. Oh. So don't film it, it won't be pretty. I will not careful. film yeah, I can't it. do that. Look at this one, covered in mud. Oh. Yeah, the one thing that, since my knee Definitely blew. Up here. Oh, God. I thought I saw somebody. That Is that the statue? Weird. Oh, possibly. You know the statues around the know. I don't know how far we've come. I just... I thought I saw somebody. Oh! This is getting interesting. Kenny? Yeah? Do you need a hand getting down here, mate? No, I'm all right. It was just weird. Like I if, said. if in doubt, when you get to this slope, just go down backwards and hold onto the wood. Right. That was just all very weird. I'm starting oh, to get well. a bit of a cold sweat. Another one with the cameras going down. That's amazing. No, because there was nothing there for you to trip over. Nah. Something touches on the back of the leg. That's what made us stop and look up. Something touches on the back of the leg. Right. And I was trying to work out what it was, if there was any branches there, but there wasn't. Right. So then, I just, I don't know. Where am I going? Use your hand. Oh, I'm gonna fall here. Just take one big step. Oh, You're there. Yeah. That gotcha. We just gotta look after each other, otherwise bones break. Oh. I've already got my knee brace on. <laughs> <laughs> I was having one on, it would have protected my knee there. No, absolutely. Look at this mud. <laughs> it's a start though. I mean that what happened to you is amazing. Yeah. What? I heard a noise just down there. Oh. Did you hear anything, Tony? <laughs> I heard something. <laughs> oh, oh mud. It's not the first time it's happened. No. It's not, but that was weird. Trust me, it won't be the last no. either. But that was scary. It, it, I got touched on the back of the leg. Honestly, it was like it touched on the back of the leg. Now you see, I was certain that I was touched in that cave yeah. when we did colour coats. Yeah. But I didn't fall there. I did not fall. It was like a... I can't explain it. Well, it's time to split the stream, I think. Oh, blimey, already. Yeah. Ah, look. It's so much already. I want to see what that was out of the wall as well. We've told no stories about Bedlington yet. All the stories are to come in the next half. We've got... Mm. More 
already than I thought we would get. We were just coming to a place that had spirit. We wanted to see it. When I got down to the track, Kenny, I could have sworn that we were being followed by someone. By someone in here. It's that kind of feel, isn't it? So anyway, we'd love you to stay with us. Uh, all you've got to do is sign up and become a supporter and you get up the whole show every week. How do you do it, Tony? If you're on Facebook or YouTube, just there's a link in the video description. Just hit that, become a supporter, join the channel, um, and then you're there. Part twos will become available. We'd love you to do it. Come on, come with us the whole trip. We're doing a we're doing a proper ghost hunt tonight. We're looking, stopping. We'll be using all of the tools. We've still got three or four that we've not used yet. We will be using them along the way. This place. People can't hear Kenny if you're only having a conversation because you're not close enough and That's your mic isn't. Not right. Near me. Yours is single. So, so join us in the next half. <laughs> we should have been we Siamese said. twins, Kenny. That's what we should have been. <laughs> Just with the number of waves I've had, that would have been quite embarrassing, I, yeah. I think, over the week. However, join us in the next it's half, please, much. please, please, and share your socks off this kind of thing so that more people join us in all directions. Mm. We'd love that. I didn't expect we'd get, nah, we'd get hands on kind that. of stuff. I didn't expect that at all. Just when you said that the dog, had, you, you felt something, something touch you, and you, we were in a but place where we're that looking that for a ghost dog, because a, 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 a Bedlington Terrier is about, yeah, about, it about there. there. The head would be about knee height. It was today. Amazing. But didn't expect anything like that. Scary.